Hi guys, it's Malaya Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 2016 favorites. The products that I have here are what I have discovered in 2016. They're not really like brand new products that were made in 2016. And since you guys don't really know much about me, some of these products I've loved for many, many years, but I'm just gonna put that in here so you guys know what I really like for products and stuff like that. And so yeah, let's get started. The first thing that I really love is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. I know this has been out for maybe like two or three years now, but I can never find a foundation better than this one, especially when it comes to drugstore. And like, this is one of the most reasonable priced foundations ever, and it doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. It is literally one of the best foundations I have used. I love this thing The second right product that I really enjoy is this Revlon Color Stay Powder. It's not a new product at all. I've been using this for a couple of years now, but I can never find a powder that is better than this one that is like really, really reasonable price, especially like as a college student, I don't really use as much high-end products. And so this is literally the best powder I have used from drugstore. The next store. thing is my Naked 2 palette. I literally just got this probably like five, six months ago and I love it. I use it every single day. It's one of my favorite makeup eyeshadows. I never use anything else that I love so much. The next thing is my NARS blush. Um, This is in the color Torrid. I have never used a color so beautiful Ever, and it doesn't take as much to put on your face and to make it like look glowy and beautiful. I have like a darker tone to my skin and so the color goes perfect. I don't have to swirl my brush around in there as much. It literally takes like two swirls and the color just pops up. So, so beautiful. Here and then I just is. discovered this in 2016. I think these were actually released in 2016, maybe. Not quite sure. It's really, really easy to apply, and I really like how it has a brush at the end. I also as just well. discovered this. I know I'm bit, I've been really behind with the makeup and everything, but you know, I don't really have the money because I am in college. But I just discovered the. Urban Decay Eyeshadow P Primer Potion. My eyeshadow stay on my eyes for so long. Sometimes I put my makeup on at 8 a.m. in the morning and then I stay out until midnight and my eyeshadows still look awesome and great. This is a really, really great eyeshadow primer. The next thing, it's not really new at all, but it's one of my favorite eyeliners and this is the Stila um, liquid eyeliner. Um, the pencil, the tip is great. It's very flexible. You can use it very easily. I just love this. The next thing that I really like is the Instant Age Rewinds Concealer by Maybelline. I know that this just came out before they just had the foundation and now they have this concealer. Love this. It literally brightens up my eyes so well. And then the next thing that I really, really enjoy is this Tarte lipstick right here. Um, I just got this in a gift set pack, but I'm surely, for sure, going back to get this lipstick. It's such a beautiful color. I don't know if you can see that, but the consistency is great. It's very moisturizing. It stays on for a very long time. It doesn't feel dry or cakey, and it honestly feels like I'm wearing chapstick instead of a lipstick, and the color is beautiful. I have it on my lips right now. I just really love this lipstick. The next thing I really like are the Ardell Lashes. I just recently started wearing uh, fake lashes. I've never really liked to wear like, fake lashes because, I don't know, I just like having natural looking eyelashes. But then, 
I was just like, well, my lashes kind of suck. They're very short and stubby, and so I might as well try out some fake lashes, and these are the best. Um, I love any Ardell eyelashes. They go on very well. They look very natural. So, yes, I love it. And then for brushes, I just discovered Sigma brushes, and... Honestly, they're the best brushes I have ever used in the whole wide world. I know you guys are probably thinking, wow, I'm really, really, like, behind with the makeup trends and everything. Yeah, I know. And you know what? I'm going to keep buying Sigma brushes because they are the best. And I'm sorry I'm really behind on trends, but at least I discovered them sooner than later. So now I am obsessed with these. Next, we're going into hair care. The first is the Naughty to Nice Conditioning Detangler that I love. It goes on very nice. It detangles my hair. It's a nice leave-in conditioner. I really like this product, and it's really cheap, too. It's not like the high-end products or anything where it's a lot of money. It's high-end, but it's not expensive. The next thing are the Nourishing Plus Coconut Milk Shampoo by OGX. I love this shampoo and conditioner. They are the best. I've never really looked at OGX products. I've always looked past them. And I finally got my hands on a couple, not specifically these two, but I fell in love with that. And then I started um, using these. And it is honestly the best products ever. It nourishes my hair, keeps my hair hydrated. My hair looks soft, silky, and shiny. And it's honestly the best thing I've ever used, especially when it comes to shampoo and conditioner. So, next is like body care. And what I have are Lush products. So the first thing that I have, actually they're both body scrubs, love, but I love Lush body scrubs because it's so moisturizing that I don't even have to put lotion or anything on after. I scrub my body with this. I love them so much. They smell so good. And this one is, this one is the Rough with the Smooth Body Scrub. It smells so good. It has a very sweet scent to it. The one thing I don't like about this scrub, though, is that it um, it chips really, really fast. And it just, you can only use it for only three or four days and then it's gone because it washes away really fast. Because of the texture, it's very, like, it has a very sandy texture to it. Fluffy. I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard about Buffy. It's the best body scrub I have ever used in the world. You can tell I got the big chunk right here. Super moisturizing. This is the most moisturizing body scrub ever. I never, ever, ever use lotion after I scrub my body with this. It's the best and it doesn't cake off because it's like, it's not like, it doesn't feel like sin. It feels like a body soap like a bar of soap and it's just super moisturizing and the best and I would recommend this for every for anyone that wants a decent body scrub because you know sometimes you're really lazy or you're in a rush and you don't have time to put on lotion grab this because it's literally just like a body wash so you can wash yourself with this and then you'll be done and don't have to put lotion on or anything on your body. It saves you so much The next so thing much is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. This is a moisturizer you use once you get out of the shower. Like you don't have to dry your body out or anything. It locks the moisture into the wet, the wetness of your skin. And this also takes like two seconds to do it's better than the body lotion if you're uh if you're running late or if you're really lazy this honestly takes like two seconds to do in the shower before you get out um it 
is very hydrating like lotion it does everything a lotion does but it's much faster because you don't have to dry yourself off to put this on what I just got is my Kate Spade purse this is literally the love of my life I love this purse so much and it's really really spacious in here I love it I got this for myself for my birthday so I haven't been using this for very long but oh my goodness just it feels so nice it's I don't know it looks and feels like a durable and great purse I know it's gonna last me for a very very long time and I just love this purse so much fashion um I pretty much wear anything that looks nice and is cheap I'm not really about getting the trendy clothes or stuff like that anything that looks nice on me and is cheap I buy I mostly shop at like Rue 21, Charlotte Russe and stuff like that because I don't really have the money to shop at, you know, places like Nordstrom or Zara or just places like that and so I just get whatever looks nice on me and I think it works. I mean, I don't look bad in them, I don't think. But for shoes though, I just got these not too long ago and I wear them non-stop I mean I don't really wear them as much now because of the snow and I don't want to get like salt and stuff on this but I bought these at Charlotte Cruz for only $20 and surprisingly they are pretty pretty comfortable for like $20 shoes I love them I love wearing them with my jeans and yeah and then when it comes to movies or shows, I don't really watch movies, I don't really, I mean I do, but I don't really have a favorite movie or anything like that, but for shows, I love watching shows like Netflix, Hulu, whatever it is, and my favorite shows from this year are probably like The 100, um, The Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, Chicago Med, I love watching those, I like how they like intertwine. Um, Once Upon a Time, I love that. I know that's been out for a really long time, but I really love the new season that was on this um, spring. Well, was it summer? Wait, it was just this fall that was on this fall. And then, um, movie on ABC, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., that's a good show to watch. Or some on Netflix, like The Flash, Jessica Jones. For food, I just try to eat really healthy. Sometimes I can't because I'm always like busy and running around. I know that's a really, really poor excuse to eat. And I've been using that a lot for this stuff. But it's true, I'm really, really busy. I'm a busy person, so I don't really have time. So sometimes I just warm up like my pizza rolls and stuff like that. But I try to eat healthy. I try to make a smoothie every morning. Sometimes I run out the door before I am able to, but I try. And that's what matters. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, just leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified that I have my videos up. Because as I said before, I'm going to try to put it up once a week. But sometimes I'm not going to have time to do it once a week. So I'll, I'll do it like twice the next week or three times the next next week. Who knows what's going to happen because school is going to start soon. So we'll see about that. And if you want to see any of my other videos,